Good morning, church. Um, my name is Tuli. Um, thank you so much to our pastors, to our prophet, for such an opportunity. I'm really grateful. Uh, people of God, Emmanuel. Um, uh, I will ask the church to please bear with me. I'm not a very good communicator, but I will start. I will try to put one word. I'll be slow. Please bear with me. Um, I said my name is Tuli. Um, my testimony is about um, the attack that I had on my feet. It started um, when I was at the gym because of the nature of the job that I do. I travel a lot, like the whole world. So when I come home, I'm tired, I'm drained, my bones, I can't even lift my body up. One time and again, it happens, I visit the doctor. The doctor would say, you need to make sure that you exercise a lot. So time and time again, I find myself in the gym. This particular day, I'm at the gym, I'm just preparing my leg on the lift it gives a sound. So I just said, it's just a sound, let me continue. I ride the bicycle and I look at the techies. I said, no, I've used these techies. So it wouldn't be the techies, I don't know. I just continue, it, then it gets worse. I said, okay, I will do something else. I step aside. As I was doing something else, automatically the guy uh, um, behind me, he says, but I see your foot is swelling. I said, I can see it, but I'm just, deciding to continue. So he says to me, just take precautions. Then I said, okay, let me sit down and take off the techie and look. It swell, it just made big and it looked green even. So I said, I, I don't know what this is because I actually thought maybe I, I didn't even tie the techies tight. Uh, sitting down, I said to the guy, it means I have to stop gymming, let me go home. I went home. I took the salt, I didn't have the oil, I didn't have the water, but I just only had the salt. I boiled the water and then I put the salt, I put the foot in. It got bigger. Oh, then my daughter says, maybe you need to take pictures because we don't know what this is. As I was still continuing with it, I said, okay, I will phone church. I am, not, not to say I'm boasting, but I am a praying person. If anything begins, it's prayer. Anything in the middle, it's prayer. At the end, it is prayer. Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> you know, God, prayer is the key. Prayer is amen and amen. My sister, when you saw that your legs were swollen out of hand and there is something that maybe possibly you can't control it or you're overwhelmed with what you're seeing. What did you do? Did you the, go to hospital? Uh, the f two following days, um, I went to the uh, pharmacy. I said, let me start at the pharmacy first. Then uh, I, went, I went to the pharmacy on my way. Somebody said, let's start at the doctor. I went to the GP. The GP says, okay, see what the pharmacy can give you. And then come back. The pharmacy gave me Voltaren tablets. Then I drank the tablets. The pain subsided a little that I could just sleep. But when I tried to use the food, it's not workable. It's too, pain, too painful. But the pain comes from the lap, not from the ankle or the knee. From the lap, top, top. Then I said, okay, uh, it's going for three weeks. The foot is just going. I said, I will continue meditating on the healing verses. I've got three different versions of Bibles in the room. I r rotate them around and I just meditate. I will go into meditation thinking I'm there for 10 minutes only to find I'm there for two hours. Amen. Amen. And mama, when you did all the things within your own reach, within your own powers, and what your thinking can be at that particular time. What was your first point of contact with the church? You said you called the church. What was the advice the church gave you to do? 
Immediately I found the church, um, the advice was, do you have sp um, spiritual mediums in the house? I said, yes, I do. Then use them. Use and then please be available uh, in the service. So I, I continued with the salt and then I didn't want to say to the person I was talking to, to the phone, that I've been waiting for money, but this money is not coming. I've been waiting for so long. It's like silly. I don't even know what to do. And I said, okay, you know, I, I will opt to prayer. Really, I will just opt to prayer now. Because even for this money to get stuck, I just, I don't, like, I'm not getting it anymore. But anyway, let me just come to church. Then I came to church. So when you are here in the church, what happened? We prayed. I, I, I didn't go to prayer line. I brought a stool to balance the, the food for that those Sundays. It was about three Sundays. It troubled me. I didn't go to prayer line. Going back home, the other foot did what this foot did. But I had not gone to gym this time. So one of my girls in the house, she says, now you know it's not the techies. It's beyond the techies. I said, yeah, now I'm convinced. Because I was saying, bring fire. Let's burn these techies. There's a lot going on. There's just a spirit on these turkeys. Now, when the second foot started, I said, no. I agree with her. It's not the turkeys. Then um, when the second foot started, it, it was, um, I, we call it a kikuyu. It, it, feels, it looks like a rope tying from the arms, going down, down, down to the feet, the feet that when I try to walk, the whole body is going to give me a gap of five centimeters. You can't walk more than five. Just, just walk that little doof, 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 one in front of the other. So I just continued, I said, okay, when I was going to the bathroom, I said, okay, I actually thought maybe this food, this, that, but now that both feet and even the arms, my arms were not moving, they were not working. I needed somebody to hold my arms, you know, to lift me up. My waist also was very stiff, locked. Then I said, okay, this is beyond. Enemy started to pay me a visit, coming to bring me suggestions. You don't need to go to church when you are feeling like this. You have, you can view online and all those things. I, I, I sat back, I said, I'm not going to answer enemy. I know before I used to answer. In this instance, I said, I'm not going to answer enemy. I will Can you clap for Master Jesus? <laughs> Oftentimes we realize what our daddy in the Lord, the advice he gave us, kneel down in your closets and ask God what you want. Don't listen to man's counseling, but listen to God's counseling. My sister, when you came to the church, were you opportune to be on the prayer line? Yes, sir. I was opportune to be on the prayer what line. What happened when you were on the prayer line? When I was at the prayer line, we were praying, praying, praying. Um, before I got to prayer line, sir, um, I don't know if what I want to say is going to help someone anyway. I, it was on a Saturday. I just slept, and then 3 o'clock in the morning, I said, I finished meditating. This is what I'm going to do to what the enemy has suggested to tie me to walk five centimeters. There's something I just want to show enemy that whether it's five centimeter or it's zero centimeter, there's something I will do either way. I woke up uh, 4 a.m. Uh, I prayed and then 3 a.m. I stopped meditation for my midnight prayer. I ran to our security officer in our company. Mama, you said you were on the prayer line. So let us watch and see what happened when you were on the prayer line. Children of God, let's just look at our screen and see our sister when the servant of God is praying for her. Can you put your hands together for Master Jesus? <laughs> sister, we know that you are in deep pain by the period you were on the prayer line. What happened after the servant of God prayed for you? How did you feel? Immediately he prayed for me, sir. This Kikuyu thing that I'm talking about that tied me down. When, when, when Prophet laid his hand like at the center of my forehead, that 
thing, literally, it fell down. It went down. Poof. Down Can you clap for Master Jesus, children of God? Our sister is telling us that immediately the servant of God prayed for her. She got her healing instantly. Can we clap once again for the healer of healers? My sister, we thank you so much for your wonderful testimony. There are people who are still dependent on man's counseling instead of God's counseling. What is your word of advice to people? There are people who are in hospital. There are people who are at home who do not have money to go to hospital. What is your word of advice for them so that they can seek the face of God? Um, the advice I can give to uh, the people of God is don't take an uh, enemy's suggestion. He definitely will suggest along the way in his attack. It's his attack anyway. Collide with him with the word of God. And a clap for Master Jesus, children of God. <laughs> Mama, we thank you so much. And I believe that strongly that children of God all over the world, those watching you here, those who are present here and those watching you through all our social media platforms have learned a lot from your testimony. And we pray that our faith that granted you this testimony, more and more testimonies will come your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs>